Hey there. So I remember the time when I picked up a secondhand iPhone, super excited to use it, only to realize that it had that dreaded lock to owner message. Ugh, that iCloud activation lock can be such a buzz kill, right? But don't worry, in this video, we're diving into multiple totally legit ways to remove that pesky message, not just for iPhones, but also for iPads and Apple Watches. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll be thanking me. Let's dive in. Keep in mind, this info is for rightful device owners who've just forgotten their login details. We don't support illegal activities or messing with stolen devices. Stay lawful and respect others. Our video follows YouTube's rules. All right, let's get to it. So diving straight in, have you guys ever stumbled upon tools or apps that promise to get rid of the iCloud activation lock, but then end up being just meh? Well, I had a cousin Leo who had this exact issue. He got an iPhone as a gift, but then couldn't access it because of the locked to owner message. Man, was he frustrated. For those of you in similar shoes, there are some real gems out there which can be game changers. Now, just so we're clear, I'm sharing this for educational purposes. All right, first up, there's the iUnlock app. I've seen it work wonders. Then there's the locked to owner solution, which a few of my friends swear by. Safe Unlocks is another one you might wanna check out. And oh, can't forget about Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having a tech wizard right there with you. These are just some solutions that genuinely seem to help out folks in a jam without being too pushy or in your face. By the way, in the next bit, we're gonna dive into how to get the most out of Unlock Here's AI unlocking assistant. So stay tuned for that. All right, quick heads up. These unlock services primarily work in first world countries. If you're somewhere where access is a challenge or you're thinking, maybe I won't use them, we've got something for you. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks to our viewers. One in, here's what you need to do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment below with your device model like iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. That's it. Once you do those three things, you're automatically entered. Good luck. All right, let's get started with unlocking that device of yours using unlockhere.com, an AI powered web app. First, open up your browser, whether you're on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to get an iCloud unlock by selecting activation lock. Now it's going to ask you about your device. If you're using an iPhone, pick that option. But hey, if you've got an iPad or an Apple Watch, those options are right there for you too. Next, you'll need to input your IMEI or serial number. If you're thinking, what's that, Lace? Here's a quick breakdown. iPhones always have an IMEI. If you're unlocking an iPhone, go with IMEI. Now, some iPads and Apple Watches have IMEIs if they've got a SIM card slot or if they can connect to cellular networks, but most just come with a serial number. If you're unsure where to find these details, simply press the sleep button on your locked device. Give it another press and then tap on the little eye icon at the bottom right. This will show you your device info. Got that number? Perfect. You'll need to enter that information here. Next, you'll need to input some basic information. This is just so the order can be linked to your account. Make sure this info is accurate because they'll send a confirmation code to your email and you're gonna need that. Before you proceed, there's a little box to check confirming you agree to the terms and that you're not trying to unlock a device that isn't yours. Then you'll have to solve this CAPTCHA, making sure that a robot is not trying to unlock a locked iPhone. Once that's done, tap start process. Keep an eye on your inbox for that email with the confirmation code, quick tip. Sometimes it sneaks into the spam or junk folder. So take a peek in there if you don't see it right away. Once you've got the code, copy the code from the email that you received to confirm your order and initiate the unlock process. Go back to the Unlock Here website to continue. Pop in the verification code and confirm you're not a robot. After that, tap the button to validate info and start unlocking. Magic is happening in the background and your device is on its way to being unlocked. Grab your locked iPhone and start the device setup. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. 
Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Next up, we'll be asking Apple. First, contacting Apple support with the original invoice. So here's the thing, Apple takes security seriously. If you've got the original invoice of your device, you're in luck. This invoice acts as proof that the device is indeed yours. What you'll need to do is get in touch with Apple support either through their website or by giving them a call. Explain the situation to them. They'll probably ask a few security questions, so be prepared. Once they verify it's your device using the invoice as evidence, they'll guide you through the steps to remove the lock. Next is resetting the Apple ID at Apple's website. If the invoice method doesn't work for you or you wanna try something else, this is a great alternative. Here's how you can do it. Head over to the Apple ID website. This is where all your Apple services get tied into one account. Click on the Forgot Apple ID or Password option. You'll be prompted to enter your Apple ID. Once you've done that, follow the on-screen instructions. Apple will guide you through some steps, and you might be asked security questions or get a verification code on another device if you've set that up. After verification, you'll get the option to reset your password. Once that's done, use the new password to access your locked device. Remember, these steps are just to help you get back into your own devices. Always keep your details safe to avoid the hassle in the future. All right, diving into another method, we've got the iCloud Unlock software. This can be a handy tool, but there's a catch. You'll need a Windows computer. So if you're a Mac user or don't have access to a PC, this might not be your go-to. Now, when it comes to unlocking software, there's a bunch out there, but not all are the real deal. While iCloud unlock software is cool and all, a big heads up, always be cautious about what you're downloading. The last thing anyone wants is some sneaky malware messing things up. Honestly, if you're wary of downloads, you might want to stick with online services. Platforms like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks can help you out without the need to download anything. It's a more straightforward and safer approach. All right, so with that said, let's hop on to the next bit. If you're in touch with the seller and they're up for helping out, this method could be your golden ticket to getting that iCloud lock off. It's a great alternative if the seller is responsive. Here's how the seller can help you out. Have the seller head to iCloud.com and log in with their iCloud details. Once they're in, they should click on Find iPhone. From the list of devices, they'll need to spot and select the one that's locked for you. After picking the device, there's an option labeled Erase. Give that a click. This will basically wipe the device clean. One last step to make sure everything's set. The seller should then click on Remove from Account. This ensures their iCloud ties with the device are completely severed, helping your iPhone get back to its full glory. Voila, with these steps, your iPhone should be on its way to unlocking its full awesomeness. That's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you need. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.